Have you ever wondered why oral health is so important for your overall well-being? Well, let's delve into it. Oral health is not just about maintaining a beautiful smile. It's much more than that. It's a window to your overall health, revealing signs of nutritional deficiencies or general infections. It might surprise you, but oral health is closely tied to the health of your heart, brain, and the rest of your body. Poor oral health can lead to serious health problems, and some of them might be quite unexpected. For instance, gum disease, a common result of poor oral hygiene, is linked to heart disease, diabetes, and stroke. Now let's talk about tooth decay. It's one of the most common health problems worldwide. When left untreated, tooth decay can lead to pain, infection, and even loss of teeth. But the issue doesn't stop at causing discomfort or altering your beautiful smile. The infection can spread, causing more severe health problems. Next up is oral cancer, a serious and deadly disease that can affect any part of the mouth. Oral cancer is often associated with lifestyle choices such as smoking or excessive alcohol consumption, but it can also result from poor oral hygiene. Regular dental checkups can help detect oral cancer early, increasing the chances of successful treatment. But it's not all doom and gloom. The good news is that these conditions are largely preventable. Simple habits like brushing twice a day, flossing daily, eating a healthy diet, and regular dental checkups can significantly reduce the risk of these diseases. So let's not underestimate the importance of oral health. It's not just about avoiding bad breath or keeping our teeth white. It's about maintaining our overall health and well-being. Because remember, every time we smile, we're not just expressing joy or happiness. We're also giving a glimpse into our health. So it's clear that maintaining our oral health is not just about having a beautiful smile, but it's a crucial part of our general health. Now that we understand why oral health matters, let's explore the goals of dental health promotion. Dental health promotion is a multifaceted endeavor with several key objectives. The first goal is to increase awareness about the importance of oral health. It's not just about having a dazzling smile, but also about understanding how oral health is interconnected with overall health. We aim to enlighten people about the potential repercussions of neglecting oral hygiene, which can lead to serious health complications like tooth decay, gum disease, and even oral cancer. The second goal is to promote the adoption of healthy oral hygiene habits. It's about encouraging consistent and effective brushing, flossing, and regular dental checkups. It's about making these habits a part of our daily routine, like eating or sleeping. We want to inspire a culture where caring for one's oral health is as fundamental as any other aspect of personal care. The third goal is to reduce the prevalence of dental diseases. By spreading awareness and encouraging healthy habits, we aim to decrease the instances of dental ailments in our communities. It's about transforming the narrative from treatment to prevention. It's about ensuring that fewer people have to endure the pain and discomfort of dental diseases. The final goal is to improve the overall oral health of the population. We want to see a world where oral health issues are the exception, not the norm. We want to see a world where everyone has access to the information, resources and care they need to maintain good oral health. These goals may seem ambitious, but they are achievable. It's a collective effort, requiring collaboration between individuals, healthcare professionals, communities and policymakers. It's about creating a society where good oral health is valued and prioritized. It's about making a positive impact on the quality of life of people around us. Achieving these goals is a collective effort, and we all have a role to play. What are some of the strategies we can employ to promote dental health? Well, there are quite a few, and they all play a crucial role in maintaining our oral health. Education is the cornerstone of any health promotion strategy. When it comes to dental health, Providing people with accurate information about oral hygiene and the importance of regular dental visits is paramount. This education can be disseminated through various channels, schools, workplaces, and community health centers. By arming people with knowledge, we're empowering them to make informed decisions about their oral health. Community-based interventions also play a pivotal role in dental health promotion. These can range from community water fluoridation which helps strengthen teeth and prevent decay, to school-based oral health programs, which teach children the importance of brushing and flossing from an early age. Outreach programs to underserved populations ensure that everyone, regardless of their circumstances, has access to the information and resources they need to maintain their oral health. 
Policy changes can also have a significant impact on dental health. These might include bans on sugary drinks, which contribute to tooth decay, taxes on tobacco products, which are linked to oral cancer, and increased funding for dental care, making it more accessible to those who might otherwise struggle to afford it. But these strategies aren't just theoretical, they're being implemented every day, all around the world, and they're making a real difference. For instance, a study in the United Kingdom found that a community-based intervention that provided oral health education and fluoride varnish to children in schools resulted in a significant reduction in tooth decay. These strategies, when implemented effectively, can significantly improve our oral health. But they require commitment and collaboration from all of us. Whether we're policymakers, educators, healthcare professionals, or simply individuals looking to improve our own oral health, we all have a role to play in promoting dental health. So let's work together to create a world where everyone has the knowledge, resources and support they need to maintain their oral health. Now, what benefits can we reap from promoting dental health? Well, the perks of dental health promotion are multifold and truly transformative. Let's explore some of these benefits. Firstly, promoting dental health leads to improved oral health. By encouraging regular brushing, flossing and dental checkups, we can significantly reduce the prevalence of dental diseases. This isn't just about having a brighter smile or fresher breath, but about dodging serious conditions like tooth decay, gum disease and even oral cancer. Secondly, dental health promotion can lead to reduced healthcare costs. Dental diseases are not just painful, they're also expensive to treat. By preventing these diseases from taking root in the first place, we can save a substantial amount of money that would otherwise be spent on fillings, root canals, and other dental treatments. This isn't just a benefit on an individual level. Think about the billions of dollars that could be saved on a national scale if we all took better care of our teeth. Thirdly, dental health promotion can drastically improve one's quality of life. Good oral health makes it easier to eat, speak, and socialize without discomfort or embarrassment. Imagine being able to enjoy your favorite foods without pain, speak clearly without struggling, and laugh out loud without feeling self-conscious about your teeth. These are the simple pleasures of life that good oral health can afford us. Lastly, dental health promotion can foster a sense of community. When we educate each other about oral health, advocate for policies that promote dental care and volunteer in local dental clinics, we're not just improving our own health, but also contributing to the well-being of our communities. So whether it's the personal satisfaction of a healthy smile, the economic advantage of lower healthcare costs, the improved quality of life, or the collective benefit of a healthier community, the advantages of promoting dental health are numerous and significant. Clearly the benefits of promoting dental health are far-reaching. So let's start today, because every smile matters, and every effort counts. Let's look at some successful dental health promotion programs from around the world. One such initiative is the Head Start Oral Health Program in the United States. This program is designed to provide oral health education, screenings, and preventive care to low-income children. By offering these services, the program aims to reduce the prevalence of dental diseases among vulnerable children and set them on a path to lifelong oral health. Another example is the Smile for Life program in Australia. This program, run by the Australian Dental Association, provides oral health education and preventive care to children and adults in underserved communities. Through this program, the Australian Dental Association is working to close the gap in oral health disparities between different segments of the population. Over in the United Kingdom, the National Health Service has a dental health promotion program called Delivering Better Oral Health. This initiative provides guidelines and tools to dental teams to help them promote oral health in their communities. It encourages dental professionals to educate their patients about the importance of good oral hygiene and offer advice on diet, smoking cessation, and alcohol consumption. In Brazil, the Smiling Brazil program has been a major success. Launched by the government, this program provides free dental care to the population, focusing on preventive care and education. It has significantly helped in reducing oral health inequalities in the country. And finally, let's head to Thailand where the School Oral Health Promotion Program is making waves. Initiated by the Ministry of Public Health, this program aims to instill good oral hygiene habits in children from a young age. It provides fluoride toothpaste and toothbrushes to students, along with oral health education. 
These programs demonstrate that with concerted effort, we can make significant strides in improving our oral health. They show us that through education, preventive care and policy changes, we can reduce the prevalence of dental diseases and improve the quality of life for millions of people around the world. Be seen script. Are you wondering how you can contribute to dental health promotion? Well, the good news is, there are several ways you can join this cause and play an important role in boosting oral health awareness. One of the most direct ways is to volunteer at a local dental clinic. Clinics often need extra hands and your contribution can make a significant difference. You don't necessarily need to have a medical background. Non-medical volunteers can help in a variety of ways, such as assisting with administrative tasks or helping to organize dental health events. Another effective way to promote dental health is simply through conversation. Talk to your friends and family about the importance of maintaining good oral hygiene. Share what you've learned about the impact of oral health on overall well-being. Your words might inspire someone to brush a bit longer, floss a bit more often, or make that dental appointment they've been postponing. But let's not forget about the power of leading by example. Make healthy oral hygiene habits a part of your daily routine. Show your commitment to dental health not just through words, but through action. Brush your teeth twice a day for two minutes. Floss daily. Use a mouthwash to keep your mouth fresh and free from harmful bacteria. And of course, make regular visits to your dentist. These simple habits can influence the people around you more than you might think. Last but not least, consider advocating for oral health at a policy level. This could involve supporting policies that promote dental health or campaigning against those that don't. For example, you could back policies that seek to ban sugary drinks or increase funding for dental care. Getting involved in dental health promotion is a fulfilling endeavor that can have a real impact on people's lives. It's not just about having a beautiful smile, it's about preventing serious health problems, reducing healthcare costs, and ultimately improving quality of life. Remember, every small step counts when it comes to improving our oral health. Let's quickly recap what we've learned today. We've delved into the crucial topic of dental health promotion, understanding its significance as a pivotal component of public health. The importance of oral health cannot be overstated, as it directly impacts our overall health and well-being. Poor oral health can lead to serious health issues, including tooth decay, gum disease, and even oral cancer. We've explored the primary objectives of dental health promotion. These include increasing awareness about the importance of oral health, promoting the adoption of healthy oral hygiene habits, reducing the prevalence of dental diseases, and improving the overall oral health of the population. We've identified key strategies for promoting dental health. Education plays a critical role, informing people about oral health and hygiene through various platforms such as schools, workplaces, and community health centers. Community-based interventions, including community water fluoridation and school-based oral health programs, are also instrumental. Policy changes like bans on sugary drinks, taxes on tobacco products, and increased funding for dental care can also significantly bolster dental health. We've also highlighted the numerous benefits of dental health promotion. It leads to improved oral health, reducing the prevalence of dental disease. This, in turn, results in reduced healthcare costs, as preventing dental disease lessens the need for costly dental treatments. Moreover, good oral health enhances an individual's quality of life, making daily activities like eating, speaking, and socializing easier and more enjoyable. We've looked at successful dental health promotion programs worldwide. For instance, the Head Start Oral Health Program, which offers oral health education and screenings to low-income children, is a shining example of a program making a real difference. Last, but certainly not least, we've discussed how you can get involved in dental health promotion, volunteering at a local dental clinic, educating your friends and family about the importance of oral health, and incorporating healthy oral hygiene habits into your daily routine are all ways you can contribute to this cause. In conclusion, dental health promotion is a collective effort, requiring the participation of individuals, communities, and policymakers. It's a journey toward improved oral health for all, and every step we take, whether big or small, brings us closer to that goal. Remember, your oral health is your wealth. Let's work together to promote dental health and create healthier communities.